in the very beginning. Well, let's stick with quarterbacks because there was an interesting move earlier this week uh, that added to Baylor's depth chart. Luke Anthony coming over from Louisiana Tech. Uh, did not play last year. He's coming off of the, the injury, right? Um, so he's he's had that injury history, but everything's good to go there. Very experienced, has played in a lot of games, actually played against Baylor, you know, at one point. Uh, what are your thoughts? Because I know some people see that and go, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. Clearly the, the quarterback room's not good enough. And then there's other people that see it and say, oh, that's very much some needed depth that they otherwise did not have. How do you kind of view the addition of Luke Anthony? I mean, guys, if you want to turn back the, back the clock on that game, I mean, they put up 27 points on Baylor. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, he, he threw for 231 yards, two touchdowns, an interception. I mean, he wasn't dazzling, uh, but he led them to score probably more points than many people thought. And then throughout his career, I mean, the last two years at Abilene Christian, threw for 5,544 yards and 40 touchdowns. Um, and then, of course, he was the Conference USA Newcomer of the Year in 2020. Uh, Louisiana Tech, where he threw for nearly 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, only had five interceptions. Um, I mean, guys, this is a starting quarterback. I mean, th- this is a guy who started at the group of five level. I would consider him a true starter. He probably could have gone other places and been a starter in group of five. Um, but I think the injury probably set him back. And then also the opportunity to play at a power five program was very intriguing to him. Um, and so I think those things combined probably led him kind of to this decision. And I know uh, he's excited about it. He's really excited about the opportunity to come to a power five school. Um, I know his cousin played baseball at Baylor as well. Um, so there's a little bit of a connection there. And I mean, you got to have connections when you decide to walk on somewhere, but, um, just to be clear, I mean, this is a great pickup. Not many people get a, you know, four year starter as your potentially third string guy on your depth chart. So um, this is big, much needed addition, much needed depth. And I think Luke Anthony coming in um, is one of those really big positives for development as well, because I think he's going to really help Blake Shapin and Kyron Drone and teach them how to be true college quarterbacks because neither one has gone through a whole season, a whole grind of a year um, being the starting quarterback. So I think for Luke Anthony, that's going to be a big part of his job as well, um, you know, as well as providing much-needed depth in case injuries happen. Well, yeah, and I think that the best part about this move is it doesn't stunt anyone's growth at all. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't change Kyron Drones. It's not like they brought in a guy who could potentially jump in front of him for three years and Baylor would lose him to a transfer. It leaves him in exactly the same spot. Well, and it sticks to what they've told Austin Novosad the whole time as well, right? I mean, because they added this guy, but he's going to be gone next year. So it sticks to them. I mean, everything they've told Austin Novosad, and that's big as well. But, yeah, you're right. This doesn't really impact anyone um, at all, in my opinion. I think this is a the, this is the most perfect quarterback pickup I think they could have had, unless, of course, you get somebody who's better than Blake Shapin, which would have been – um, you know, that's very hard to find in my opinion. So we saw move-in day a couple of days ago. You know, 